Ukraine's army chief, Oleksandr Sersky, said Kyiv controls about 1,000 square kilometers of Kursk, according to a video excerpt of his report shared by President Volodymyr Zelensky on Telegram. It was also the first time Zelensky confirmed that Ukrainian military forces are operating inside Kursk. In his nightly address the president said war was now coming back to Russia after Moscow had taken fighting to other countries. The troops are fulfilling their tasks. Fighting continues actually along the entire front line. The situation is under our control, Sersky said. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the incursion, which has caused more than 100,000 civilians to flee, is an attempt by Kyiv to stop Moscow's offensive in eastern Ukraine's Donbass region and gain leverage in possible future peace talks. The Ukrainian operation is under tight secrecy, and its goals remain unclear. The stunning maneuver that caught the Kremlin's forces off guard counters Russia's unrelenting effort in recent months to punch through Ukrainian defenses at selected points along the front line in eastern Ukraine. Speaking at a meeting with top security and defense officials, Putin said the attack that began August 6 appeared to reflect Kyiv's attempt to achieve a better negotiating position in possible future talks to end the war. He insisted Moscow's army would prevail. Putin said Ukraine may have hoped the attack would cause public unrest in Russia, but that it has failed to do so, and he claimed the number of volunteers to join the Russian military has increased because of the assault. He said Russian forces will carry on with their offensive in eastern Ukraine regardless. Russian ally Belarus has deployed tank units to the Ukrainian border, according to an announcement from the Belarus Defense Ministry. It happened after the Kursk operation of the Ukrainian army. As part of the strengthening of the border groupings of the troops, tanks of one of the mechanized brigades of the armed forces of Belarus are deployed on the border with Ukraine. The press service of the Ministry of Defense of Belarus released information about this. The units of one of the mechanized formations are ready to perform the assigned tasks, and the military equipment is loaded onto the railway transport and starts to move together to the designated areas, it was pointed out in the information. President Alexander Lukashenko said air defense forces destroyed several of, about a dozen, Ukrainian drones after they violated Belarusian airspace in the eastern Mogilev region bordering Russia. He said others were later destroyed near the Russian city of Yaroslavl. Earlier on Saturday, the Russian Defense Ministry said Russian forces had intercepted six drones in the Yaroslavl region. Considering the situation in Ukraine and in the Kursk region of Russia, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces has given orders to reinforce troops in the Gomel and Moser tactical areas in order to respond to such provocations, Defense Minister Viktor Krenin said. Special Operations Forces, Ground Troops and Rocket Forces, including Polonas and Iskander Systems, have been tasked with deploying to the designated areas. He said Belarus regarded the violation of its airspace as a provocation and was ready to respond. The Belarusian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has issued a statement strongly condemning the actions of Ukrainian armed formations in Russia's Kursk Oblast. It is with deep concern and pain that Belarus has learned about the events that have been recently taking place in Kursk Oblast of the Russian Federation. We strongly condemn the actions of the Ukrainian armed formations, which have gone on this senseless adventure, aggravating the conflict in our region, the statement reads. The Belarusian Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed support and solidarity with the residents of Kursk Oblast. We express our sincere condolences to the families and relatives of the victims and wish a speedy recovery to the injured, the statement reads.